Is it possible to give people an idea of the cost of the additional balancing requirement that comes through because of, let's say, we're in a wind-dominated system? Yeah. Well, I think the really positive thing to say is that across all the regions that we studied, so we did um, four different archetypes for four regions. So we did India for solar, uh, the UK for wind, high latitude, uh, Spain for a Mediterranean case, and China for a multi-climate and a broad continental country. And across all of those, our total system costs were lower, like Elena said, or comparable to today's. So that includes your grid, your balancing, and your generation. So the, the theory there is you can have a totally clean system with the wind and solar and your balancing and it is lower than or comparable to today. So for your listeners, the idea that all of this balancing addition going onto the grid, that it's going to naturally or inadvertently raise costs, just doesn't stand by the modelling that we've seen. Okay. I think the important thing to note that we've discussed is, again, it depends on where you are, that balancing cost in dollars per megawatt hour is sufficiently a lot lower. Say in India, it's around $9 a megawatt hour for the total system cost. Compared to the UK, it reaches around 30 And that is there because of that ultra-long cost, because those assets are so much more expensive.